Badalescu of Bucharest, Romania, will make his debut in the Arm War Super Series. 26 years of age, six feet tall, he's a huge light heavyweight, dropping five kilograms of body weight just to get into the light heavies. That will give him an advantage. But the Romanian number two will need to be on form to deal with this man. Nicholas Matiashvili is super experienced, a multiple Georgian national champion. He's a rangy guy at 6'2", slightly smaller in weight, but he's got that experience. This will be an interesting encounter. The man in the black T-shirt from Georgia. Better leverage, longer arm, slightly larger hand, and that leverage can be used to good effect if he can stay away from the power of the man in the purple shirt, Sabine Badalescu of Romania. Oh, and it's an incredible start from the Romanian. Drives straight into the hook. Got to watch that elbow, though, and it is a running foul. Now, that will not be a win for the Romanian. Explosive though it was, he went straight off the back of the pad, high in the air, and he's on the running foul. He won the pin, therefore, they will start the match again. So the man in the purple shirt is on one foul. He cannot afford to foul again. Look at the lap muscle on the man from Romania. Just hammering through his shirt there. Much thicker set athlete. As I've said at the top of the show, he loses five kilograms just to make it into the light heavyweights. By contrast, Nicholas Matiashvili has room to spare at this weight, but he cannot hang on to the power. And Sabine Badalescu once again puts in the enormous drive on the inside in the hook, and it is the win. Badalescu starts his debut with a pin in the Arm War Super Series at Triple XL in London, England. What a massive drive that is. You can see Nicholas Matiashvili is making him work very, very hard, though. And... Uh, one thing that will be interesting as this match develops is how the Super Series six-round pro format will affect Badalescu. This is his first time in professional format arm wrestling. And the feedback you usually get from these athletes is, and you can see it straight away, he's breathing heavy. I was going to say that the feedback you usually get is that the six-round pro format is so much more difficult than the main draw, single-pin, double-elimination format that Badalescu will be familiar with in his native Romania. He needs to manage to get through all six rounds, not just an explosive start. And the man with the spider's web tattoo on his elbow is off to another flyer, hammers it into the hook, drives down, but Matias really is equal to it. His veins absolutely fit to burst in that forearms. He tries to hang on to the bigger Romanian, but it's gonna be a pin, and it is a pin. Sabin Baralescu. He's aggressive, intense drives in the hook. Once again, he was lucky possibly to get away with the elbow, but I think Nicholas did a little bit of a juror himself on the elbow and experienced Michael Holland let it ride. Advantage played by the referee, and it's Badalescu with the win. And Badalescu is off to a flyer in London, two to nothing to the Romanian. What a dream start. So so, Imilish Vilu with the piercing blue eyes working in the corner of Nicholas Matyashvili. Two of Georgia's best here in London. Oh, top roll attack from Nat. That was very interesting because he actually had busted the wrist wide open there and had, I think that's a get out of jail free card, if I'm honest, for Sabine Badalescu because it looked to me like his hand was all but gone. He gets chance to breathe again and the intelligent, cerebral Georgian, Nicholas Matiashvili, uses the levers instead of the power. Twice he was unable to defeat the power of the Romanian, and leverage may be the weapon. And in this case it is, because that's a second foul. It's going to be a red card and is. Romania. He may have got away with a foul in the second match. His elbow was a bit wayward. He certainly didn't get away with it on the starts there. And Nicholas Matiashvili is on the board. And... More significantly, perhaps, he may have found a way to defeat this more powerful opponent. He's setting up high in the hand again. Now watch the wrist of the man in the purple shirt, because the man in the black shirt is going to try and break it back and does. And now we have got a match on our hands because Matiashvili has found a way through the Romanian. It may be a combination of uh, fatigue in Sabine Badalescu's arm. As I said at the top of the broadcast, very difficult format, the six round pro, when you were used to pulling in uh, single pin format stuff in the amateurs. 
And this is going to be a major change for Sabine Badalescu. He needs to get his head around the fact that he needs to keep things in the tank and defend his hand better. At this point in time, the door may be kicked right off the hinges by this Georgian if he can roll outside. So, Sabina, I was just going to say, he's managed to set the hook again, but he uh, he did set it. Well, that's because there was no goal. He set it too early. Must wait for that goal. Calm himself a little bit. He is breathing heavy. Look at the contrasting style of athlete. Calm, smooth approach from the man in the black t-shirt, Nicholas Matiashvili, and there he goes with the top roll again. It's a running foul for Sabine. Now, he is actually wasting energy there, and to no avail anyway, because the man in the black shirt levels it. Look at that approach. It's leveled, bang, there it is. Completely levels it to the pad parallel, and he is back in the match with a vengeance. Leading at three to two. Tremendous parallel pin. Nicholas Matiashvili just took it, took it straight to the level of the paddle. Doesn't need to touch, remember. Anything from the wrist to the fingertips goes down to the level of that touch pad, as it did there. And it is a pin. And from 2-0 down, he's 3-2 up. Matiashvili, time to smile. Goes for the top roll attack again. This time, Sabine Badalescu manages to slow it down slightly, but he cannot set that hook, and it's a waiting game. His hand will tire, it will burn, and there's the counter-strike. Nicholas Matiashvili, enormous drive from Sabine, waits for the breath, bang, hammer time. Georgia leveling that one, taking it straight to the pad.